Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Play Starsis episode number two. I hope you had a chance to check out episode number one. We went over the tutorial and the basics of the game itself. It's not really a complicated game, albeit it's really difficult sometimes, especially if you don't get the right roles in your name. But more importantly, there's a few nuances about the game that I really feel that you should probably pick up on before you start playing the game yourself. So episode number one is a pretty good job of explaining what you should be kind of keeping an eye out for and how the mechanics work out over here. This point on, we're going to be going a bit more faster, a bit more free and easy about the entire thing here. So right now, we have two events right now, and we also have nine weeks to Mars. So we have to survive nine more turns over here to get to Mars and hopefully get the um, the story out there. And there's a really interesting story behind the game as well. I just hope I get to it. Uh, I don't have too much um, fate. It's a really difficult game, especially if rolls don't start happening your way. But we'll see how we manage it out over here. So at the moment, we have an issue over here going on in the flight control. And we also have an issue over here with the maintenance area as well. So let's take a look at this here really quickly. With the one down here with the maintenance area, we have to get up to eight points to clear out this event and avoid two damage to our ship hull integrity over here. The one on this side is going to be 15. And this one's not going to hurt our ship, but it will actually hurt us by one health point for every single person, every single turn that is active over here. And I cleared out. So, um, I think we start off with this one, but we definitely want to keep an eye out for this bad boy over here. And one, the one thing we should note as well, I'm not sure if you notice here, but this right here is orange and purple. These are blue. So these right here are stasis. This right here is going to be injury. So if you roll a one, you take one damage to your character. If you roll a two, that die is lost for good that entire turn. So because right now we have three assists stored up from our last um, turn over that I hopefully I luckily got with Pakal. I say we go after that one first, and then the ones with stasis we can easily manage later on. So, our first order of business here will be this module on this side. Um, unfortunately, we are kind of low on die, especially, especially Alice and Silva. I think we want to probably go with... that's 15 points, right? I'm going to say we go with the captain. So we'll start off with the captain over here, and we will deploy her off, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was considering with the captain because she has the plus one die to crew and module. We could just have her hang out over here, try to hit her ability to activate, and then we'll give one extra die roll to Alice and Silva. But then again, what we're doing then is sacrificing Al um, Gina Lobby's turn to hit this up. And then she has three die already, so we're sacrificing three die for the possibility of two. Not a really good idea. So we'll just send Gina on over here. Let's deploy her off. Okay. Injury and Void. So we definitely want to avoid 1 and 2, but if we do hit those, we have a few assists to help us out over here as well. Let's go ahead and start rolling. Okay, we got a Void. Luckily, one of our assists did trigger, so we're fine over here. Now, we got up to 14 points right now. This is actually not too bad. We definitely want to use the 6s over here to get rid of this issue completely right now, so we're in a good spot. All we need now is 3 points of, um, of a door, of a die roll over here. The only concern is if we roll again, and we hit another injury or void, this will be a moot point and we lose another assist for the other event over there. But, you know what, let's go ahead and get risky with it. Oof. Okay. <laughs> when I saw it too, I was gonna be like, really again? Luckily we had a four. We have now repaired this issue completely, so we don't have to worry about everybody taking one health point of damage after the end of this turn. So we're fine over here. Perfect, thanks a lot for that. Captain Jean Olawe. You're freaking out over there, their portrait, by the way. Can you please stop freaking out? <laughs> You're the leader right now. You have to keep us in tune over here. Alrighty. Uh, next issue is going to be down over on this side. And by the way, if we meet this with probably one other person, we might be able to go over here to start producing some food as well. And that's something I kind of want to do. Because we have no food and then we want to restore Alice and Silva next turn. Maybe even Kayla Jones and maybe Gina Lawe. So I'm thinking I want to use Pakal for producing food because he's got, he's got four Dyro which is going to help us out to hit this module activated over here. So what I'm going to say is we stick with Kayla Jones over here in the module she's already at at. So let's have her jump over here. We have two assists. Our stasis is going to be two and three for this one. So as long as we avoid rolling those guys, we should be fine over here. Let's go ahead and do a roll. Oh, I saw a six momentarily. Oh, no. So close. Okay. I will use the six now to repair this here. And we have an option now. Roll again. I think we roll again. And honestly, I wish that the assist could be like, um, it would give you a chance if you want to activate it or not. Because right now, if we were to roll a 2, we would activate the assist. But I don't really care because we definitely don't mind a 2 right now because a 2 would clear up this event completely. So that I wish that was an option, but apparently it's going to do it automatically, assuming we roll a 2 or a 3. 
Um, maybe we'll get a four, five, or six still. Oh, oh, come on. You see what I'm saying? Um, we used up an assist to clear out the um, stasis right there. But a three would have been fine to clear this up. So I'm not really too crazy about that, but so be it. We just used up an assist, unfortunately. So we'll go ahead and clear this up completely. And now we don't have to worry about taking any sort of uh, damage to our ship after this turn is over. And the important thing, we have two people left over. The only thing about this is that Allison Silva only has one die, so she's not going to be too useful. Because she does roll three different times, however, I feel that we have a good chance of coming over here to the laboratory. And maybe because she rolls three different times, she might get us a five. And if she does that, we might be able to get the assist back for the next turn over. So I'm going to leave her as the last choice. We will use Pakal right now to try to produce some food for us. Now, for the food one, what you want to do is actually match up two or three different bad boys over here. So if you go ahead and match up two, you'll get one extra food. Match up a third one, get two pieces of food. And he's got uh, four dice to actually make this happen, so he's got a really good chance for it. Luckily, there's no stasis over here because there's no issue. Let's go ahead and roll. Give me some doubles, my friend. Oh, I see the twos already. Perfect. So we'll do two, two, and we have food now. Now we have six and four left over, and we also have one reroll. Assuming I wasn't really too confident about getting another two, I could go ahead now and just put the six over here into the research project and start building this up so we have a few backups as well. And that's something we might do right now if we don't roll another two. So let's go ahead and roll one more time. Oof, we were kind of close for it, weren't we? The only problem here, though, as you can see, is we rolled a three now. So that's not going to be useful for this. Not going to be useful for its ability to heal the ship one damage because it's going to be a five or higher. So here's my, here's my thinking. We could toss this down here and get two research points, or toss this over here to his ability and clear up the ship damage of one plus one. So from three, we'll go up to four. And you know what? I don't think it's a bad idea. I'm going to go ahead and do that one. And there you go. And the three left over, that's going to be lost to us because we have no use for it completely. So we will go ahead and just finish the deployment over here. Alrighty. So that dice and fortune is a bit lost for us. Now here comes the big decision. With Allison Silva, I could now jump into this module. And because the uh, die is still over here left over for this turn, I could roll three different times to try to get another two and get another piece of food for next turn over. Or we could just go into trying to roll a five or higher three different times and get our assist restored. <clears throat> and that's where the uh, micromanaging comes into play and the kind of risk assessment and things of that nature. I like the idea of assist, especially when it comes to injuries and voids in terms of the um, possible negative effects over here. But because our people are, as you can see, are really low on dice right now, I feel it's more important for her to get me another piece of food. So I'm going to come down over here and I'm going to try to roll three different times over here for a two. Oh, this is risky. Should I do this one or should I just go with the assist? I'm going to go with this one. So three different t attempts to get a two. Oh, <laughs> now what I was looking for? Go again. Oh, now what I was looking for. You know, if you don't give me a two, at least give me like anything but a three for the last one. Come on. I'll take that one. That's fine. We unfortunately got that extra food. Um, did we roll anything higher than the five right now? Because if we did, we should have just gone with the assist. But, you know, hindsight, right? So right now we have two research points. And mind you, because we have two research points, we could actually go ahead and activate the duct tape, which is going to repair our module by three instantly. Assuming this one was damaged, but it's not. But we could save these, obviously. And we could also go ahead and shuffle these again by one extra point if we don't like what we see over here. But if we get up to another point over, or another die over here, we'll get the choice harvest, which is going to be plus one food. Which might actually help us out a bit, too. So, for now, we will just go ahead and finish the deployment. Luckily, we cleared up any sort of event that might have gone bad over here, so we're fine. I let my fear get the better of me, but the others have proven me wrong. I'm proud of how the crew has come together. Alrighty, so we have our side project now to undertake over here. So we have these people clustered into two groups of two. Um, sometimes they will have like solitary projects and sometimes when they start going crazy, crazier things will happen. We haven't even gone down the cannibalism route just yet. There's going to be cannibalism as you progress further into the game itself and we'll cover that pretty soon. I'm assuming we survive that long, I should say. Uh, so right now we have, here we go, good thing the med lab has plenty of stimulants, let's do this. So. Right now, this will actually give us plus one dice for everybody, which is actually pretty useful. But the negative effects can be negative two to the ship. And if I'm right, we have four HP for the um, integrity right now of the hole. 
So that's going to put us down to two. I don't think that's a good idea whatsoever. However, this one is not really too great as well. No movement damage if we go with these people, but they'll also lose one die. And as you can see, we are really low on dice right now. So I'm going to be risky here. And this really pains me to do, but I'm going to take the two ship damage for plus one dice for them. Oh, not for, oh, only for them. Oh, I thought it'd be for the whole crew. Sometimes there'll be events where it'll be like plus one dice for everybody, but this is only going to be for them. So this will put Pakal up to four, Allison up to two. And we'll take two damage for that? No, no. The only problem here is that if we go with this one, though no movement damage is really not a big concern for me. It's negative one dice that really bothers me. So I don't think that the positive boat is not going to make up for the negative one over here. Oh, man. We're going to have a couple of people with only one die for next turn for the next event. And I think the next event might be even three disasters happening, too. Shoot, skis, man. Alrighty. <clears throat> I'm going to go with this one. I'm not crazy about this idea, but man, we need dice to undertake the next set of turns we'll be going onward over here. So let's go ahead and do food over here. And that's fine. I like this one. Let's go ahead and finish this off. Please just give me two. Oh no, it's going to be three, of course. Alrighty, that's what I mentioned. Three of them. We really don't have enough dice to make this happen, I don't think. We're going to have to get really lucky or even use our... Our little backup skills over here. So let's see how this is going to play out. Mind you, our pending damage is going to be three. So if we don't clear out this... I mean, this one has to go for a fact. If we don't clear this one out, we lose. If we clear this one out and this one remains behind, it will do one damage, but we'll still survive it for the next turn over. But this is the one that has to really, really go. It has a void and has two stasis as well. Luckily, we do have two assists over here. Um... Alrighty, so we have Allison Silva and Pakal here already, so luckily for us, we don't have to worry about them going out so we're taking any sort of movement damage. Alrighty, well, I guess we have no choice, but let's start off with the mechanic over here. And we will deploy, should we have, no what, no, no, let's start off with Allison Silva. Okay. Void, stasis, so we're looking to avoid one, two, and three. We do have a few assists over here to back us up, though, just in case, but we definitely want to avoid those. Um, let's see here. If we match up a few more research projects, we might be able to get the plus one die for everybody. That could be pretty useful as well. Food is always great, but the problem is food is not our concern right now. Later, right now, we have to take care of this issue. And duct tape would only repair three from 24. That could be an emergency one. We'll see how this plays out. So let's go ahead and start with a row here first and foremost. Please avoid one, two, and three. Perfect. I'm going to say we go ahead and use a six right now. And because we have such a really big gap in terms of uh, what our small chances to succeed over here is, I think we almost go with the four. This will bring this down to 14. And then we could probably follow this up with uh, the mechanic. Because if I take a risk right now, we could roll two more times. So if I roll a one, two, or three, we're going for less damage for one. Or less repair value for one. But also, we'll be using up our assist over here, too. Four is in grade. But considering we have the odds of five or a six, and then we have one, two, and three, the odds are basically in the favor of the one, two, and three right now. So I think we go with this one. I'll just go ahead and eat that one up, and there you go. Finish your deployment. We're down to 14. Alrighty, Captain, you have two dice to your name. We haven't really took a look at this one over here. And this one might be a problem. This is going to cause a system failure. I'll be honest with you, I have never encountered system failure, so I'm not entirely sure what it's going to do. If I had to figure a guess, it's going to probably mess up the life support module for a bit there. Hmm. Not sure what the long-term damage that's going to be. Unfortunately for us, Kayla Jones, the one that has the other good amount of um, dice, is stuck over here. So if I move her out of here, it's going to actually cause her one damage because you're moving from a uh, damage area somewhere else. Although, wait a minute. Didn't we get them? No, no. It's going to hurt her. I thought we got the uh, side project that said no movement damage, but I was wrong about that. 14. Well, I mean, we have to go with the mechanic, because if we're looking at 14 here, we'd have to look at a 6 and a 6 with John Oloe over here for 1. And number 2, we'd have to use one of our duct tapes to clear out the rest of the event over here. So I think we have to go with Pakal over here, regardless of which. So we will deploy on this one. So we're looking at 14. Hopefully no 1, 2s, or 3s. Let's go ahead and roll right now. Come on, avoid those. Oof. Oh my goodness, God. Okay. 
So here is the alternative for us. Since we have three twos, we could put them into harvest food and we'll have two food for next turn over, which will restore everybody's um, dice again. And then what we could do is then use the captain to hopefully try to f clear out this event for us. And we're going to have to eat the system failure. Or the other event. This is a tough one, man. Okay. I'm going to go with the harvest food. And two. So we're going to have two meals at least over here stored up for the next turn over. Assuming we even make it there. And we have one more reroll. We could again risk it. Or just hold with the cap that we might be able to get up to 10. Because right now we'll be dropping this to 10, so we still have to go with that one. Oh boy. But if I re-roll into a 1, we lose that completely. A 2 or a 3 will be less. I think we have to go with the 4. So our repair damage is going to be down to 10. We have the duct tape over here as well that we can use right now if we wanted to. So we might actually have to end up using that here with Gina Lawe. So let's get Gina Lawe over here to hopefully clear this one up for us. Now mind you, if we roll a 1, we're boned. We have no assist over here to back us up anymore. So let's go ahead and roll. Don't get... You are a piece of shit. There's no way for us to clear this out now. So... Even if I was to roll a 6 again right now, we only have 3 as a backup. So we could bring this down to a 1 best case scenario. We have to go with a 4. Alrighty. And here's the problem. Kayla Jones now, she has to clear this up because if we don't clear this up, it's game over for us. So she has to go here and here, meaning she's going to take two damage of health if I'm right. Yeah, negative two health. Luckily she has four, but man, that's a really, really big bargain because we have to go through one event, two events, so yeah. That's unfortunate for us, but so be it. All we need now is a six. If we get a six, at least we survive for one extra turn and we'll see if we can turn it around. We have some food over here to hopefully replenish our dice as well. So let's go ahead and roll right now. Got a six, got two sixes and a few stasis. The stasis don't really worry me too much right now. So we'll go into a six over here and clear this up. That is now no longer a concern. We survive for one extra turn for now. Now on the other side, we have a six over here too available. We could toss this down over here along with the two. By the way, let's do the two right now. So now we have up to three research points. So we could activate plus one food again if we wanted to. Not a bad idea, really. That would get everybody just about filled up for the next turn over. We could do that. We could also do the six over here with her. And what this is going to do is going to give us plus one health to everybody. So she'll go up to three. Allison will go up to four. Paul up to five. And Jean up to three as well. This is lost to us. We can't really do anything with this anymore. So do we go for the health or do we just go with the research project? You know what? I think we go with the research project. So we'll bring this up to a four. And now if I wanted to... We could activate food for one extra piece of food, or we could go with the supplement, which will be plus one die to all crew members. Bring you up to two, four, two, that, and we have enough. You know what? That's not a bad idea, really. Or we go with three food. Three, three. Hmm. Let's go with the choice harvest. Alrighty. Now, we're going to lose the one damage right now from that one, and we got some damage over here from that system failure. Food stores, and it looks grim. We lost more than half our supplies with the module. If we don't find some creative solutions, we'll starve before we ever reach Mars. Alrighty. They're talking about creative solutions, so you kind of know what's coming up here pretty soon. Now, we're in a really tough spot, though. We have plus, we only have one HP left over, and we have two events here remaining for the next turn over, on top of the two or three that will be added right now as well. So, we're going to have a lot to deal with right now, and this might be it for us as well. So, we'll see how we play this one out. Uh, these people are saying negative one dice for them, but no movement damage. This will be going to be prevent stasis and negative one dice for all crew. I don't think you could go down to zero. I don't think. So you know what? Let's go with this one. Yeah, they don't go down to zero. They'll always have one at the very least. Alrighty. With the limited supplies aboard, it is unclear if we can maintain our strength for the long trip to Mars. There is another option. The body of Mapia is still in the medical bay and has been well preserved. What is more important? The mission or humanity? And now we have the cannibalism over here if we want to go with this one. Now if we do this, we'll get plus two die, which is great. 
but we'll also lose one max HP completely. So we can go up to six right now. We could drop somebody down to five for two extra die. Luckily, we do have some food over here left over. So I'm going to go ahead and use this up here before we make this decision. And here is the tough one. I'm going to go with Kayla Jones losing up to one HP to get up to that. So I could use these as well for everybody else here available and get them up to a five. Remember, we're going to have a lot of events to deal with next time around. So I'm not sure how we're going to go about this one. But you know what? I feel like we're in a tough spot, so I think we just go ahead with this. Now, mind you, as you can see, the stress over here jumped up completely. She's going to be, or yeah, Kayla Jones is going to be insane now. Just batshit insane. That, the same will happen to Pakal, but luckily his, um, we could go with Allison Silva. I don't think she'll go insane if we do this with her. And maybe Captain will be really close to it, but he actually won't go insane this yet. Yeah, he's still fine. Alrighty, I went all out. And by the way, now that you've done that, you could kill people. Kill people and, you know, harvest their food or harvest their meat for more meat for us over here going forward. And you know what? If somebody's about to go down, it's not a bad thing to do. I mean, it's terrible in theory, right? But if you want to survive, there you go. Let's go ahead and finish this off over here. How many events are you giving? We have four events. We luckily do have a lot of people with dice over here. So, you know, this isn't game over just yet. With a few lucky rolls, we might be able to pull this off. The only concern right now is going to be we don't really have any assist to back us up. But luckily, the events are kind of low. And oh, yeah, we also have the prevent stasis one, too. So these three guys are going to be no issue for us, assuming this is actually for the entire turn and not just like one round. Alrighty, we're going to wrap it up here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. We're in a tough spot over here, but we might be able to pull this through just yet. We'll see how this plays out. I will catch you guys next time.